Your engine just quit. One of your first and most important tasks is finding and flying at the airplane's best glide speed. But where's that? It's not marked on the airspeed indicator and the actual value changes with weight. So here's a trick that will allow you to find and fly your airplane's best glide speed, even if you don't remember it in the midst of an emergency. Just fly a level attitude. What I want you to do is, is, uh, is look at the cord line of the wing and just hold it. We've got a nice crystal clear razor sharp horizon. I want you to just hold the, uh, the attitude on the horizon. So we're in about a 500 foot per minute rate of descent, normal. You retrim for the for the the new the new reality of the new airspeed, perfect. And just hold that cord line of the wing level on the horizon. Now our best glide speed is 65 at max gross. Let's see what we're doing now. About 68, 69. 68, and we're slowing to 67. So it's like. Um, Let's see what the ASI says. Yeah, ASI pretty much agrees, 68. We're within three knots of the best glide speed, just holding the, uh, the, uh, the cord line of the wing on the horizon. Your airplane will still descend, but you'll maximize the distance available to find a safe landing area. Yeah, the really important thing about this is it keeps your eyes outside. Yeah. And in an emergency like an engine out, emergency where you're going to be looking for a, a field to land in, looking for the nearest airport, you know, being able to keep your eyes outside and, go, and, and start going in the direction you want to go, and that's the really key part. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live.